IQ, which stands for Intelligence Quotient, is a score used to quantify a person's level of intelligence based on standardized tests. Two popular IQ tests are the Stanford Binet Intelligence Scale and the Wexler Adult Intelligence Scale, or WAIS. The Stanford Binet Intelligence Scale is a test that is used to detect developmental and mental deficiencies in young children. This test measures five different factors, including one, knowledge, two, quantitative reasoning, three, visual spatial processing, four, working memory, and five, fluid reasoning. Some factors contribute to the IQ score more than others. The Wexler Adult Intelligence Scale is used to measure intelligence in adults and adolescents. The median score is set to 100 and has a standard deviation of 15. The IQ scores of most people over the age of 10 do not change much throughout their lives, but there are some people who score differently when they retake these tests. In 1921, a researcher by the name of Lewis Terman started a study known as the Genetic Studies of Genius that tracked the IQ scores of 503 children over time. When these children were retested on the Stanford Binet test during high school, the IQs dropped an average of 9 points. In general, IQ score is affected by a person's specific knowledge, vocabulary, expressive language, memory skills, visual spatial abilities, fine motor coordination, and perceptual skills. Factors that can affect one's performance on an IQ test include the person's emotional anxiety, tension, and familiarity with the testing process. In addition, we know that other environmental aspects such as socioeconomic status, education, and nutrition are also correlated with IQ. This has been the Mindful Moment. This video is based on the following paper. Please click the subscribe button. Also, check out the website gazingoffintospace.wordpress.com and subscribe there as well.